What's going on YouTube? It's Dr. Spaz back again with another absolute banger for you here today. And as usual, we got a great one. New BGD6 update is out and Corvus is now our new hero of choice. Let's check him out. All right. So a couple of things before we get started here is I selected bigger balloons and bigger towers so that we could see what he looks like and what the balloons are going to look like with him and what he can pop and whatnot. Uh, basically, it's just a visibility thing. I want to be able to see and um, show what he can do, right? I want to be able to see what he looks like and show what he can pop and all that good stuff and see more in detail about everything. So that's why I turned into bigger balloons and bigger... Uh, bigger tower so it's gonna be kind of funny seeing the bigger stuff like moabs and B bfbs and stuff like that but uh when we get to those but nonetheless we're just trying to take a look at to see what he looks like which i think he looks pretty cool here i mean what from what we can see he looks he looks pretty neat i like his little companion i like his soul book i like him himself um but basically how he works is if you can tell it looks like he's floating he's not even sitting on the ground he's got his book he's got his companion him himself has this range, but he has this companion that heats, or heats, uh, that seeks uh, balloons. So if I throw, you know, if I throw some reds at him, right, you know, he'll go after them and pop them. I have him at max level right now, just just because. But um, you can see that his companion has global range, so he doesn't have to worry about um, anything with that. Um, and we'll go more into him um, here in just a second. A couple other things is. Here's his spell book. So how he works is he has his spells and he has his companion. His spells correlate to his companion mostly. Um, but overall, it's mostly his companion that's doing all the work. There's some exceptions to that. Uh, but anyway, um, here is his spell book. Um, I'm going to select each and every one of these here slowly as I'm doing right now. So you can see down here at the bottom the description of what each spell does. And then I'm gonna kinda highlight some of my favorites, right? And we're gonna kinda test them out and mess around with him. So if there's something that you wanna look at more in detail, um, go ahead and pause the video. Um, or if, if you just wanna read them all, go ahead and pause the video. But we're gonna highlight some of my favorites here. And we're gonna kinda test them out and see what he can do and what he can handle as well. And then the other thing is, one last thing is, here is the list of upgrades for him overall. I'm going to slowly scroll through here so you guys can read what he has here. We're going to take a note of a few things as we test him out. But again, feel free to pause the video so you can read on what all of his upgrades are. If you don't have them yet, or maybe the update's not out for you yet, you know, so on and so forth. Because I know the update doesn't roll out for everybody all at once. I know consoles later, Netflix is later, that sort of thing. Um, so if you want to learn more about him specifically, pause the video on the spells and pause the video on his upgrades here so you can kind of see what he does. He's a powerful tower. Like, he's great. Uh, we were trying him out on stream yesterday. He was fantastic. Fantastic, right? And overall, he doesn't really have any weaknesses. His weakness is purple mainly. Like, if I send some purples at him, you, you can see here he can pop them, but like he's very slow about it. Looks like he can't pop him unless that hand goes on him. That's interesting. I haven't figured out what that hand is. I mean, these are fortified ceramics and he's one shot them. Let's throw some hard rounds at him. Let's throw 78 at him, shall we? I mean, look, he's one shotting rainbows. This is insane. Look how, I mean, that is so strong. Oh, here we go. 78 ceramics. We don't get super ceramics until, what was it, like uh, 85 or something like that? Am I remember it? Now we got camo ceramics coming up, which means I need to pull out the spell book. And get vision out here. I don't know why his man is not growing. Oh, there's a BFB. I haven't seen that yet. <laughs> Look how big he is, dude. Dude, he's just destroying him. I haven't seen the camo ceramics yet. The 78 is a long round. Oh, here's purples. Okay, if I do this. Oh, wow. Yeah, so he can't do purples at all. I don't know what can pop him. Oh, there's the camo ceramics. Let's get him vision. Let's change him to strong. Okay, so the he, everything got through, or everything was taken care of except for the purples. I mean, that was a good round to test because that threw everything at him. I mean, that just shows you his power. So let me let's throw let's throw eighty eight at him. Let's see what happens with that. What is it? Lose the attitude. All right, let's do that. Let's do first.
Oh. Okay, so let, let's redo that again. Um, I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna use this. So he's using the mana, but he's not gaining the mana. And I don't know why. Why is that? Oh, there we go. Do I have to use that ability? So this ability down here basically uses a, a scythe to sweep all the balloons around him, and he knocks a lot of them out. And this guy does similar to Gwen's ability, where it just catches the whole screen on fire, essentially. It's not the entire area, but it is a lot. What does this guy do? Spirit freezes balloons and it hits for a short time. Okay, so that doesn't really impact the ZOMGs. I'm gonna do this again. I want to disable that. We are gonna use this. I'm gonna do this. So the abilities recharge the mana for sure. And I do know that the balloons are supposed to recharge the mana as well, which is this right here. However, I think because we're in sandbox mode, can't, like, he's not recharging. So he handled that pretty well, actually. What about some DDTs? Let me let me throw some DDTs at him. What is it? What is it? All right, let's send him again. Oh, you can't even, wow. Is that because he can't see camo? So it doesn't recharge at all? Okay. Well, I guess we kind of just screwed ourselves there. So let's do BFBs, shall we? Let's do 10 BFBs. There we go. We'll use this, and this, and that. Why is this ability gone? I haven't used that yet. Have I? Okay, yeah, so he's doing pretty good against BFBs. I mean, yeah, that's, that's pretty nuts. Look at that. Look at all the ceramics. Oh, he, he, oh, okay, okay, so he's gonna leak them. That's all right, that's all right. What about some, let's throw five ZOMGs at him. All right, so I don't know what the hand does because it doesn't look like it slows him down, but I did notice that when purple balloons were out, the hand allowed his companion to hit them. So there's some sort of correlation there. The hand now on the other hand, get it? I don't know. All right, let's use this and this and this. That's pretty good. We're gonna burn just so we get the mana regeneration. Okay, so he is having an issue right now. Interesting. See, I thought all these ceramics would be basically one-shotted, but I wonder if it's because we're at a later round they're not. So let me change that to round. I know 80 isn't super ceramics. So let's do that and see if there's a difference. Because I know the super ceramics are a lot stronger. Let's do the same thing again. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Wait, where's the other ZMGs? Oh, did I hit 80 instead? Is that what I did? Here, we'll do that. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool. All right, so we're going to recharge here. We're going to use this. This. I did not mean to do that. Um, whatever, that's fine. Actually, it's not fine. All right, let's send the ZOMGs out again because I messed that up a little bit. I accidentally selected the wrong thing. All right, so now his mana is zero. Okay, awesome. Let's send this. Love the spear. This increases his size and attacks faster. Um, the blades would be nice too. Let's do that and then let's use this. Oh yeah, that's neat. I wonder how long that lasts. Let's use the fire as well. We can use all of these at the same time. Well, maybe not all of them, but you get what I'm saying. So this tower requires a lot of microing. So I'm curious to see how far he can go by himself. So I really like the spear. And then the common, th this combination right here is just awesome because the spear, as you can see, does quite a bit. Let me just show you what the spear looks like by himself. Let's throw ceramics at him. You can hear the explosions, you can see the lightning, so it's all hitting multiple balloons. And he's super fast, of course. That is just so cool. So that's my favorite one so far. But let's throw round, let's throw 95 at him. Let's throw 95 at him and give him camo detection. I just want to give him camo detection so he can see the DDTs without me using ability. Um... And you know what? Yeah, let me let me give him an MIB so he can just hit everything without even worry about it. Um, he has a slight 10% uh, increase in range because of the village, but that's the only buff he's getting. He's able to see everything now, so he's not having to worry about that. Can he handle round 95 by himself? Let's find out. So once when the DDTs come out, I'm going to hit this guy.
Oh, I don't think he can. Damn. That sucks. Okay. So he can't handle 95, I don't think. I know he can handle a bad by himself. Let me, let me see what he can do with a bad here. Oh my god, look how big he is, bro. <laughs> we are making progress. We're making a lot of progress. He's not using any spells right now. No spells. His only buff is a slight increase in range, which it doesn't matter for his companion. And he can see every balloon. I just have an MIB down. He's almost popped. He's not going to be able to get the DDTs, I don't think. Oh, maybe he will. Wow! What about the ZOMGs? I mean, I just want to see if he can pop them without using any abilities or spells or anything. Just his companion doing the work. Wow, he's popping the ZOMGs that quickly. This guy is a lot stronger than I thought he would be. This is amazing. Is he going to leak any? Oh, he might. Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe he will. I don't know. It's close. It's going to be close. Uh-oh. Oh! I think one just leaked. Or maybe he got it. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, either way. Okay, they're leaking now. That sucks. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, come on, bro. That's close. That's insane. That is that is wild. That's amazing. No abilities, no spells, nothing, and that's what he did. I'm impressed. All right, let's do round 40. 100 MOABs. See if he can handle that. Let's get him going here. Okay, he's doing pretty good. Yeah, he is doing pretty good. Wow, he did handle that. I can just tell by, based off of that, he's not going to be able to do the BFBs. But this tower is so strong, man. I mean, let me throw the BFBs at him anyway. Because I want to see if these two guys right here will, will take care of the problem. All right, so let's do this. And boom. Wow! That's incredible! All right, let's do that again. I'm going to wait for this to fill up here. All right, so now this is filled up. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this guy first and then this guy. Because apparently these are the strongest ones. So I'm curious to see what these two can do. Let's, let's do this. I didn't do anything that time. I'm confused. Yeah, I'm so confused. I didn't do anything that time. All right, let's try it again, I guess. How did it do so well the first time, but the second time it didn't do anything at all? We're going to wait until these these are done filling up here. Same thing with the ability. All right, let's go ahead and throw the BFBs down at him again. Dude, it did the same thing again. I wonder if it's just doing it because of the Moabs or something? Maybe I need to set him on strong. I feel like that... I feel like the spells are going to focus on what he set to himself. But he set to first, so maybe it does that. But I thought it was just an overall explosion, right? Yeah, it detonates with overwhelming energy, which is great, but you would think it would hit the BFBs as well, but it does not. All right, let's go ahead and send him again. What is it? And let's send him to strong. Yeah, let's send him to strong. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's cast that. Boom, 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 boom. When you do the, uh, I can tell when you do the Ancestral Might, he only has the range of the spell book, which is this range here. He doesn't have the global range. So if I wait here, so it's obvious that maybe not just this spell, maybe all the spells, whatever he is set to here, that's what the spells are going to perform. It makes sense. It makes sense. But uh, I didn't really get that right off the rip. However, this guy right here is what we want to use. Let's see what we can do here. Of course. All right, do it. Do it. Okay, so maybe I should have set him to first then. Got it. I definitely should have set him to first. 
Let's go ahead and change him to first, and let's wait for the uh, for this to fill up. All right, now that they've shown up and he's set on first, let's go ahead and send them. Tisk tisk tisk. Tisk tisk tisk. All right, let's use him. Wow, I mean that's cool, but I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> I'm probably doing something wrong. Either way, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate every single one of you, as always. If you don't mind, like the video, subscribe, ring the bell, and let me know down in the comments below a couple of things. One, what round can you get to with him? And two, what can you do with the Baz? How far can you get? Can you beat a fortified Bad without using any buffs? I mean, I got the MIB here, and he has a 10% buff range. But without using any buffs, like, what can you do against the Bad? This is a microwing tower, meaning you need to be able to learn how his spells work to be able to get the best out of him, right? So what can you do? How far can you go, and how well can you do? Well, how well can you do? Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for tuning in. Until next time, peace.